conjure perplexing miracles, mesmerizing the conscious like an infant and make reality seem superstitious. Boredom makes me mischievous. I came in a big time, so my origins remain mysterious. I've been known to make sense delirious. And even though the cycle seems vicious, I still endure the dark waters which hide the bones of my king amongst the vestiges of stolen treasure. This journey is tedious, but I have survived the tragic winds of history, sprouting like coconut trees on the edge of the Caribbean Sea. Look at the faces that carry my kings. My mother planted the rice on the Carolina fields. Open your eyes and you'll see the marks of her footprints. The pulse of home never skips a beat. The pulse of home never skips a beat. I've walked on hard coal with bare feet, doing bad things to drum beats on the mini Rio de Janeiro streets. I am the personification of beauty and the beast. A Haitian voodoo priest with roots in Benin. So as I try to define the indefinable, I translate 777 dialects through. I translate 777 dialects through music. I prophesy from a variety of pulpits. I am possessed by many a spirit. The agony of my legacy is minimal. My existence spans millennia. I am susceptible to dementia as I attempt to speculate my mysterious origins as the train of nostalgia. Nostalgia speeds through the synthetic landscapes of a hostile territory. Gunshots could never silence me. My patience is depleted and my tolerance for intolerance is now intolerant. So I close the bowels of my heart to microscopic agents of indoctrination that attempt to get into the sacred gardens of eternity. Intangible me. Eluding definition, I am a river with no defined direction. I see the gates of heaven during ejaculation. Challenge indoctrination, heaven is ejaculation. Challenge indoctrination, heaven is ejaculation. Is there solace in the hands of a stolen nation? Tell me, is there solace in the hands of a stolen nation? Stolen nation.